guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School back with another video in a series of useful and medicinal trees of the eastern woodlands. Today we're going to talk about river birch, which is a tree standing behind me here, and it grows along the eastern woodlands from Ohio clear down into the south. So it's a very prevalent tree in the eastern woodlands that grows around water, hence the word river birch. Um, you really, it needs to grow, you know, you'll find it along river banks, and stream beds and things like that. That's where it grows the best. The same areas that grow cottonwood, same areas that grow willow will grow river birch. Because it's a birch, it has a highly combustible oil called betula within the bark, which makes it a very good fire tinder source, which we'll discuss in a few minutes and I'll demonstrate for you. It's also edible in the fact that you can tap this tree for the sap after a hard frost in the spring and you can drink that liquid straight or you can render it down into a syrup if you add some sugar or something like that to it. The river birch also has a couple different medicinal values. You can make an infusion from the bark and that was used for stomach ailments, upset stomach and things like that. You can also make a decoction from this bark that's good for a skin wash. It's highly astringent so it's very good for any type of external skin ailments. It's also said to kill ringworm, but it's very good for things like rashes or poison ivy. Anything that is an external skin rash or irritation, you can make a wash from the decoction of this bark and it will work really well for. So it is edible, it is medicinal, and it's also highly useful as a tinder source. And I'm going to explain that to you now. It's very simple. It's much like birch bark in that you can just go up and grab. Now this bark is not exactly like other birches in that it's not, it doesn't come off in big sheets. It comes off in small chunks, which in a lot of ways is better for fire tender than something that comes off in larger chunks because it doesn't take as much processing to use it for what you want to use it for. You can see what they look like in my hand and I'll just take, you know, in this case a cigarette lighter and it will work with a ferro rod as well, but I've got a lighter pretty handy here. I just want to show you how well this stuff burns. 